Hey everybody, how's it going? Hope you're having a lovely day. So today I would like to discuss something that I think is particularly effing ridiculous, which is heated seats in your car costing $18 a month as a subscription service after, after you have paid $60 or $80 or $130,000 for the vehicle. That's right, BMW in South Korea at this point in time, this is reported from BMW South Korea, it says heated seats subscription is real and it costs $18 a month. And there's an extra one for the steering wheel too. Yes, that's right. They're nickel and diming you to the point where it's not even like you pay for the heating package and you get heated seats plus a heated steering wheel. You pay for the heated seat subscription and then you still get a cold steering wheel unless you get another subscription and give them more money for what you already paid for when you bought the fucking car. So there's an $18 a month subscription for the steering wheel when you do the current exchange rate. Alternatively, you can get a one-year plan for $176 or if you really want to lock in the savings, a three-year subscription for $283. Now, with the steering wheel, they're a little bit more generous. The steering wheel is only $10 a month, 92 annually, and $161 for three years. So you're really locking in some savings if you go for the three-year subscription. Now, with the steering wheel, they're a little bit more open to the concept of ownership than they are with the heated seats. The heated seats is a subscription. The steering wheel appears to be at this time, you can buy it outright for $222. So again, you already paid for the car. You already paid for the heating element in the steering wheel. You already paid for all the software functionality to exist for you to turn the steering wheel heater on. But you got to give them $222 additional or $10 a month for the rest of your life to be able to actually use it. This is going to get worse before it gets better if we put up with it. On this channel, I talk about the concept of right to repair a lot, which is that you should be able to fix what you own. Companies should not go out of their way to keep you from being able to fix what you own. And that is similar to this because it, comes, it goes under that overarching umbrella of control, which is what is going on. These companies seek to control everything you do with what you purchase, control whether you fix it, control how you use it, control their spying on you constantly with what you do on it, and control whether or not you're actually able to use what you fucking paid for unless you continue paying them indefinitely into the future. What if they go out of business? How many people watching this video of a Pontiac or an Oldsmobile or a car that they still drive today from an automaker that no longer exists? What if they go out of business? How are you going to use the features in your car that you already paid for? You're not even going to have the option to subscribe anymore if they go out of business. Now, some of you may think, what are the chances of BMW going out of business? There's no way BMW is going to go out of business. They might if they keep doing stupid shit like this and people stop buying them. It's not uh, outside the realm of possibility. At the end of the day, this just goes under that overarching umbrella of control. We are going to control whether or not you can fix your product. We're going to control whether or not it lasts. We're going to control whether or not we spy on you while you're using it. And we are going to control whether or not you can use what you have already fucking paid for. Now, I could understand if we were talking about a Kia or a Hyundai from the 90s. I remember seeing these commercials as a kid where it's like $8,000 or $12,000 to buy a fully functional vehicle. I could get it. You're making no money when you sell the car or very little money when you sell the car. You need to make that money up somehow. And part of the way that you make that money up is by nickel and diming people after the fact. Here, we are talking about BMW. They're making more than enough money when they sell the vehicle to be able to cover allowing you to use what you have already paid for. I honestly would not mind if they just charged more money for the vehicle up front. Most people here probably wouldn't notice if they charged, again, we're, we're talking BMW, Mercedes, we're talking about a company that is, this, this is not a budget-minded car company. People are paying seventy, eighty, dollars $100,000 for these cars on a regular basis and are happy with it. If they just charged a little bit more money for the vehicle, a little bit more money for the vehicle, but just allowed you to use it, this is, nobody would probably give a shit. If next year's car costs three hundred or five hundred, even even $1,000 more than last year's car, nobody would care. What people don't like is the feeling of being nickel and dimed and the feeling of control. I don't like the idea of paying for something and then you saying that I can't use the thing I paid for unless I pay you indefinitely into the future. That's bullshit. I don't want to give these companies any more control than they already have. But unfortunately, if people keep buying them and people keep doing, you know, go, go, uh, getting along to go along, going along to get along, this will continue. This needs to stop at every stage of the chain. Not just a consumer, not just a consumer saying, you know what, screw it, I'm not going to buy next year's model. Everybody, the salespeople have to st stop really caring about selling these things. The engineers at the company have to say, you know what, eh, I can get a job somewhere else, screw it. I'm not going to code in functionality that allows the heater to work only if you subscribe to it. At every level of the organization, people have to say, screw this in order for this to stop. If you think that this is only going to happen with heated seats and a heated steering wheel in your car, you're out of your mind. 
This is going to happen with every single piece of technology. This is going to become the norm with every single piece of technology across all industries unless something is done about it. We need to start taking back control of what we purchased because I am you know, not that old, 33, but I'm still young enough to remember when, when you bought something, you owned it and you could do what you wanted with it. This is not just a right to repair issue. This is not just an issue where it's only gonna affect even one set of devices. Because when we talk about this in terms of right to repair, people will say, well, okay, who cares? Just don't buy a MacBook. Okay, besides framework, you show me a laptop manufacturer that'll show you schematics. You show me a cell phone manufacturer that will allow you to see a board schematic or something so it can be repaired. You show me a medical device manufacturer that does any of that. This is a problem across all industries, and it's growing like a plague, and it's not going to stop unless we do something about it. What do you think of BMW's decision? Do you want to pay $18 a month to have a heated seat in your car? If you don't want to pay $18 a month, would you prefer to pay $176 for a one-year plan or a three-year subscription for $283? Let me know in the comments down below. That's it for today, and as always, I hope you learned something. I'll see you all in the next video. Bye now.